Well, the stations across the country owned by Sinclair, on air and behind the scenes talent employees are rolling up their sleeves and giving back. This morning, I witnessed news reporter Tony Salazar has more on how we're investing in our community. Tony, good morning. Hey, Stacy. good morning. And Kern County, great good morning to you watching at home. So this is on air. And of course, the folks that keep us on the air behind the scenes, folks, as we like to call them, they're here on the assembly line. You can take a look. We got some familiar faces, including Rochelle Mercy, our evening anchors. We have the whole crew here. But first, I want to go ahead and bring in Mr. Blaine. He's also waking up early with us. Yeah. Blaine, good morning. Thanks for joining us. How are we doing, sir? Dude, super good. Super good. What? Look at look at this wonderful work being done behind right. us by the team, right? By the eyewitness. News. We couldn't be more proud than this, but let's talk about the impact that our that our team here is doing behind us. Sure. Roughly, I mean, the pallets that they're putting together right now, how many of those do you guys go through, uh, I guess, in a month? We go through about 110 pallets a month. Uh, I, I think your team will be able to put together at least 17 of those pallets. And just um, a matter of just three hours. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. And how many programs do you guys have here at the Cap K Food Bank? We've got about five different programs that spread across a lot of different ways to distribute food. Uh, the food bank's a hub for distribution. We do do distributions here now, uh, but we traditionally have not. And, and we got to get this food out to the partners. So the food comes in, food goes out. That is amazing. And I know with your recent expansion here, you guys were able to do really have even more space, especially for fresh fruit and produce. Let's go introduce you to some of the folks here on the team. We got Miss Tracy here, our marketing person there at the at the team. And we got Rochelle Mercia Hello. also waking up. How you doing? I'm doing? A little early for you? A little early. Coffee's my friend. Coffee is your friend. Yeah. How are you feeling today? I'm doing good. I love doing stuff like this. Of you know, course. of course getting to be with my team members and uh, helping the community and also knowing the need out there is so great. Certainly. So. And if Rochelle's not helping out with our veterans she's always doing something for the community she's trying. she's trying and she's doing it okay here again we got folks from all over the spectrum here at eyewitness news as they make our way over here we got our we got our sales uh, manager here we also have our vice president here and general manager miss teresa joining us this morning early good morning, good morning. how are we doing i'm swell how are you this I'm morning i'm doing great so you've been here for a couple of minutes now how are things going it's going well we're uh getting into the rhythm of packing our boxes and uh seems like we've got a pretty good crew going here we need to speed it up a little uh, just bit just a little bit pretty well oiled mission if you ask me <laughs> but hey why is this important that eyewitness news give backs to our community better yet invests in our community well, um, Sinclair Broadcast Group has this initiative where at all their locations they ask folks to donate a day of service and it's something we look forward to every year because, you know, we're part of the community, we live here and we want to support the nonprofits and so we're lucky that we've got so many great agencies to work with and this year we're working with our friends at CapK. At CapK put together some food boxes for our seniors in our community. Yes, I'll let you get sir. back to work. She has to go, go, go. Uh, we got the whole team here. We got Leslie Vi our evening reporter as well and then we also have our folks who are a little camera shy here we got a technical director Alexis as well I mean we got the whole team here giving back to our community and so how are we doing how, so what's your job over here I am folding boxes and then adding mixed vegetables so everybody has their own responsibility yes. here right how does this make you feel well we're highly competitive and we heard how many how many pallets the last group did, so we're trying to keep up. It's a little bit of a competition yeah. because they're trying to put together as many boxes as they, as they can and really put together as many pallets as well. Again, if you want to get involved yourself, today is National Volunteer Month, this whole entire month. So we're going to have all the details on our website at bakersfieldnow.com, including our Bakersville Now app in case you want to get involved here and become one of us and get involved and volunteer at the Cap K Food Bank. For now, reporting live here in Bakersfield, I'm Tony Salazar with I witness news guys back to you all right looks like you guys are doing some great work out there thanks so much for sharing tony hi i'm rochelle murcia with eyewitness news bakersfield now on youtube thank you for checking out our youtube channel where we have tons of great content to choose from while you're here go ahead and click on the subscribe button right there that way you can stay up to date on all the things related within kern county thanks for watching